General Creed, Captain Helms reporting for duty. Helms, it's good to see you. Here's the situation. The Reds and the teams, they've allied again. You have to be careful of the Reds. They have more combat-ready soldiers than we could have ever imagined. They are deadly, elite Spartans. Additional health, accuracy, the whole shebang. Meanwhile, the Tans have brought the armor. They've got panzers all across an airfield that they're defending. We need to go and strike out at the red artillery position. They're holding the hill above the airfield. Once you've destroyed that, go for the Tan airfield. That is our primary target. If you don't succeed in taking out the artillery, it's fine, but it'll make your life harder. We've got a tank division coming from the east. You and your men will strike from the mountains in the west. Good luck, son. You're gonna need it. Welcome, gamers, to Army Men, The Unifying War. Today is going to be the first episode, and the Greens are marching to war against the Tan and Red Armies. The Tans have, of course, their position here at the airfield, while the Reds hold an artillery fort above it to provide cover fire. The Greens are coming from both the railroad section over here, as well as from the mountains over this way, and it is going to be a doozy. Let's see what happens. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. Let's get into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So, Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then, gamers, let's go in slow-mo and press start right here, and watch as the Shermans begin to unload just a little bit of crew members that they've got with them. They've got maybe like 30 soldiers in total. Ooh! Wide shot from the Tan Panzer right there that's holding the railway station. There's two Panzers at the railway station, in fact, so, uh, you know, could do some serious damage to the attacking Shermans. And then there's also some Panzers holding the airfield as well. And let's check on Captain Helms right now. So his men, yes, are indeed charging on forward here. There's Captain Helms, a darker green soldier. The light green soldiers are, of course, his troops. And they are going for the artillery first and foremost, while the Shermans end up attacking the railroad, as well as potentially part of the airstrip at the beginning of this battle. This should be pretty epic. Now, this is going to be a little side series uh, before Army Men Civil War takes a return. I, I want to wait to start Army Men Civil War until I finish uh, publishing the book and stuff like that for it, um, but this is sort of a prequel to the Civil War, which is the Unifying War. And, uh, you know, there's going to be some serious lore dumps and stuff like that. It's all going to be pretty exciting, in my opinion. Oh, there's some of that artillery from the Red Soldiers up there. Uh, they are firing from up in this sort of, like, church area. But big miss. Big swing and a miss for the start of their bombardments here. Now, the reason... Oh, my God. That, that poor soldier... <laughs> That was clearly intended for a tank, but absolutely nailed a green soldier right there. Uh, now, the reason that we do have uh, the Reds and the Tans working together is historically they have always sort of been an allied party while the greens and the blues tend to be a little bit more in alliance with each other uh, so it just kind of fits the overall uh, territory of this army men universe that we've got going um, and on top of that the reds are a fun faction to use in these battles mainly because they're sort of the super soldiers they're the spartans of the army men world and so they get more health they get better accuracy stuff like that but they have way less troopers so there's not nearly as many of them up here defending but each one soldier is worth like three green or three tan soldiers in this thing right now There are no blues to be seen But perhaps in the next few episodes we are going to be seeing some blues entering on one side of the battlefield or the other I'm not entirely sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think should happen. All right, let's go check in on uh, Captain Helms his soldiers are still crossing this river bay area over here It looks like some of them are actually getting distracted and sort of pulling towards the uh, railway station over here, which is under constant fire, and the green tanks seem to be doing a better job of shooting the locomotives than they are of shooting the tank that is in the open right here. 
it's really quite sad. It looks like one of the Shermans did get tracked right here. Not super great. There's another Panzer over there, of course, on the rail or that's not the railway station on the airstrip over that way. So, um, oh, 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 what are you doing? Is that alive? No, okay, that is a dead tank it's pushing, okay. Well, now you got like a nice little shield for yourself there, buddy. Oh, don't throw it into the rest of the army, man, that'll kill him. No, no, no. Oh, you're about to absolutely kill. Yep, there he goes. Oh, why did you do that? Oh my god. No, 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 no! <laughs> what are the greens doing? The green tank formation is doing terrible. This is tracked. This is dead right here. Oh my goodness. What are the green tanks doing, my guys? All right, let's go ahead and bump it up a speed here. These green soldiers up this way. Oh, they're starting to get pulled towards the airstrip. They're choosing to divert from the artillery. Ah, oh, dude, go for the artillery. Don't, don't get distracted. Capture the hill artillery and then go for the rest of the battlefield. I don't think it's a smart idea to go towards the airstrip right now. Let the tanks handle that. Finally, a shot goes into the Panzer right there and takes her down. That's big. Now, we do have the retreat rule as well as the repair rule on this battle. So, uh, if we uh, find that it's safe, we will go ahead and repair these tanks. But at the moment, they're under a lot of fire. They're still under a lot of pressure here too. I don't think exiting tank crewmen out to repair that thing would have been a good idea. Um, and same thing for the retreat rule for the tans here. I don't think any of these guys really actually need to be retreated just yet. They've still got very stable positions that they're going to be able to hold. They've still got a tank over here. And it looks like the light greens are coming through the tundra over this way to assault them from the side. I don't agree with this. I don't think this is a smart move for the light greens. But it is what it is. Um... There's not much we can do about that here, but oh yes, okay! Actually, half of the force has gone up to assault the Reds up this way. That is much better. This initial fighting is going to be extremely difficult because they're coming up over a crested hill here, and it's going to be a bit of a bloodbath, but hopefully they can survive most of this action and push further in. God, we can only hope so. We can only hope so. The light greens here definitely having a little bit more of a struggle bus. Now, also, on top of all of this, uh, I'm very, very excited for uh, some of the reveals later on in this series that I have planned and, and things along those lines. I, I think it should be should be fairly exciting stuff. I, I think it'll be very, very good. And I'm excited to do a series from the green perspective as opposed to the tan perspective. That's one thing I kind of regret doing in Army Men Civil War was making the tans the main characters. I thought I was kind of being counterculture and like having a little bit of fun of like the greens not greens being the villains for once. But honestly, the greens are so fun to have be the good guys and the main characters that I want to do this series from the greens perspective instead. Either way, they're doing a pretty decent job of taking out some of these red soldiers. Uh, the artillery is facing them. Not sure if they're going to be able to fire over that uh, that house though, so that might be a little bit tough. Let's go check on the airstrip. Alright, well it looks like the green tanks have maneuvered themselves further over this way, and they're actually perched on this hill, which is not a bad spot to be. That's a, that's a good idea. If you could just go around and flank this tank, that would be huge for these green boys down here who are just like in a slaughter zone right now. I don't think they brought bazookas. Uh, no, there's one right here. Oh, if that guy could get a snipe. Bazookas in this are super effective, but uh, that is like a super hard shot to hit. I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, up on this hillside, we've got a few green soldiers popping up, but there are tans throughout here. Well, these guys all died, <laughs> uh, but there's still some over this way, and then there should be well, these guys are dead. Okay, they took down a couple planes. This got popped, so that's one less tank inside the airfield. But then there's still this tank here, which can shoot those guys. Maybe it might be a little, little bit too long range for them to hit that. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so are you still alive? This tank is still alive. This tank is, but needs repairs. I, I think he's in a safe... Actually... He's still moving, so I'm not sure what repairs he needs. This guy needs repairs. We'll go ahead and repair him. Now, over here, I would do the retreat rule on these guys, but I think that's actually a really good position for flanking soldiers, so I think it's better to keep them there. This... These two troopers here, I think we can retreat back to this tank position. This tank is totally dead. Can't repair that. Um, but we're going to try and save those guys. This troop right here can definitely retreat back and join those guys. These guys are fine. How about the reds? All right, this one red soldier, he's got four kills. 
This is actually a prime location. He might die, but on the off chance, his Piot continues to kill. He didn't get any kills then. I don't think we retreat that guy. I think we let him be because he is he's doing work. All right, this artillery has three kills. This has nine kills. They've not been super duper effective or anything like that, but it is hurting the greens, and that's for sure. All right, let's go into normal speed here. Greens continue to pummel away at the reds up this way while their tanks do work down in the valley below. It's a beautiful battle what we got going on here. I am enjoying this thoroughly. I like how they're kind of head glitching right here and being able to fire with just their head poking out. That is some noise maneuvers. M60 Trooper here could do big damage, gets clocked. Gets absolutely clocked and glocked right there and is down for the count. Rip, rip to my man. More soldiers pushing through the tumbleweeds here. Trying to make big moves. I'm liking it. Did that guy end up going down over this way? Yeah, he did die, but I think on the off chance he got a couple more kills. That was worth it for him. Over here, green tank down on the ground. This guy is going to pummel through a plane right here. Just do a little extra damage to the... Uh, wow! Oh, no! Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, he killed himself. And his crew members, I guess. Wow, that was a yikes. Uh, okay, so... He clearly hit the fuel of the plane and died. He should have just clipped the wing, but instead he got the body of the plane, and that killed him too. This thing needs repairs. Uh, those guys died. This thing needs repairs as well. This one back here did get repaired. There's only three Sherman tanks left alive. This guy's hopping back in because he was under fire, so we can't repair him just yet. This tank ever go down? Nope, she's still alive right there. It's still greens opposing her including a bazooka trooper right here, so they could get the kill on that. But things are looking rough for the greens, that's for sure. Over this way, one artillery trooper remains right now. He is under heavy, heavy fire. He might get a shot off, though. He might. It might be reloading or something like that. These things have a crazy long reload time because they're so devastating. Those SFHs, oh, they, they do be doing work, though. Um, but the greens, they're definitely going to conquer the tans up here. Uh, but the tans, I mean... Those superior battle tactics and troops truly did work out for them. Look at the slaughter of the greens over this way. The green menace against the red menace, baby. Just a load of menaces. <laughs> and they are continuing to still lose troopers. There we go. They killed the last trooper on there. There's two reds there, three reds there, uh, two reds there, and then one red, or two reds over this way. Even just like 10 reds can still be really problematic given their health and their abilities. That could be rough. We've still got, yeah, these guys are just chilling down this way. Interesting. Uh, green soldiers have popped out of these tanks. This tank's still alive. This one is dead. Was that always dead? I'm not entirely sure. But this thing is tracked. I don't want to move it or repair it or anything like that uh, because there's still plenty of tan soldiers around here to kill this. As you can see, they're getting shot at by those guys, so we don't want the tank crewman dying due to that. Are you able to move? Okay, he is able to move. Uh, we'll, we'll actually just have him stop. Have him stop. There you go. Just stop, because I don't want to be responsible for your death. All right, he's rerouted in his own terms there, so he'll he'll do what he wants, but I didn't want to accidentally like throw him towards the planes. Oh, there's a bazooka trooper over there. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. He's right there. He's right there. Come on. I think there's only one soldier left alive in this thing. Okay, they get slapped around. Yeah, there's only one trooper, so basically he has to either drive, shoot, or reload the main gun. He can't do everything. He's choosing to go around the flank of these guys? Just pivot, just pivot, what are you doing? I don't know. He's being a dummy. This thing is providing a little bit more machine gun fire from over here. That's good. A few more green soldiers moving into the railway station. The tan defense here has been way deadlier than I ever expected. Oh, man. All right, and you guys are still working on the reds over this way. Bit by bit, they are taking out these reds, but the reds, I mean, they're, they're buying time for the tans below. They're still getting kills on the green soldiers. I'm telling you, even just a few red soldiers can be so unbelievably devastating. Bazooka Trooper taking pot shots at these guys over here. We got some scorched uh, plastic soldiers around here. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Oh, it's like Christmas over here, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. 
I like the, the sporadic bullet fire on the wall here. <laughs> that looks so cool. Men of War is such a good game engine. Well, the GEM engine is so good. Uh, okay. They're gonna, like, collapse the roof of this thing with that bazooka fire, aren't they? What are y'all doing? Alright, house by house fire here. They do take out those troops. There's one last red soldier right there, and then two over there at the church. The reds are almost completely eliminated now, but the greens had to expend so many soldiers to do so. Yellow are dead greens over here, red are dead reds. It's a pretty costly battlefield for the greens, that's for sure. What, what happened to um, Captain Helm? He might be dead, I'm not gonna lie. He might have gone down. If he is down, you guys can decide in the comment section below if we allow him to come back in the next episode wounded or if he is truly dead. I think he might be down. I did give him extra health because he's a hero unit, but that didn't seem to matter too much. All right, so these guys are gonna go back to spawn, so we'll actually gear them up to move this way, um, just as like a little pathfinding thing. So yeah, you guys are gonna wanna move this way to join the other greens over here. This thing is surprisingly still alive. How did that? Oh, because the bazooka trooper, I guess, died. So this thing is just vibing currently over here. It's not damaged, it's just chilling. This one, I think we can enact the repair rule now. All right, now how about the tan soldiers? Do we want to retreat anyone? Honestly, this is a really good position for this guy because if any red or greens round over here, they'll get killed. There's one trooper over here. I think we can retreat him back to the train station behind this tank here. There's a couple reds up here, but if we try to move them, there's greens here, here, and here. I think they would just die, so we'll leave them where they are. And the rest of the tans, I think, are fine. These guys chilling over here, I think, is perfectly fine. They've, they've got this section covered that they can fire down into. So here come the greens from over here. Let's see how these quote-unquote reinforcements end up doing here. Do any of them have kills? This guy's got two kills. This guy's got one. This guy's got one tank kill. How'd you manage that? One kill, no kills, two kills. Okay, so they're actually all fairly decent. They might have a little bit of veterancy to them. Not entirely sure. They're pushing on this tan tank right now. Somehow they burned the outhouse. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Um, but this is good opportunity for the greens to get a bazooka shot off at this thing. They're killing the tan troops here pretty good. We got a flanker around this way. Very nice, couple flankers coming through. Look at this guy, cheesing it through the, the decayed train right there. Where are these tanks, man? Didn't I tell this guy to repair it? I'll tell him again, I'll tell him again. This thing is just vibing. This thing doesn't know what to do anymore. It's just chilling, bro. Oh, man. There's another tan tank over that way, by the way. And, and remember, the green started with, like, nine tanks. <laughs> and the tan started with four. Greens also had more infantry. And uh, they, uh, you know, had good flank positions, stuff like that. Uh, the fact that the greens are doing so poorly now uh, is astonishing. And it, it, you know, the Tans, they had support from the Reds, that, that's true. But the artillery really didn't do all that much. Had maybe 30 green kills total out of like the two to 300 green soldiers there were, so yeah, it's rough. If you look at the minimap right now at the top left, red are Tans, blue are greens. So <laughs> there's some blues over here, some blues, or sorry, some greens over here, some greens over here and a little bit over here, and then the, the tank right here getting repaired, and this tank just chilling. Um, I suppose we should do a little time lapse now, uh, because I, I think it's gonna be a green L, sadly, so let's watch uh, and see what happens, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we'll do an overhead view like this. You can see the tan tank right there, a couple tan troops there, and then there's tan guys back there, but this way we can see all the, oh no, you know what? No time lapse until this tank does something. All right, it's pushing forward, this could be big. This could be big or it could be absolutely nothing. <laughs> Those are pretty much the two possibilities. Remember, there's tan tank there, tan tank there. This one's actually pointed at it. What are you gonna do, my friend? Let's go fast motion here, because she just derping. How many soldiers? Three soldiers in there. So they've got a decent setup. They could definitely get some stuff done with this thing. It's a matter of if they're going to be smart enough to. Um, if their infantry pushed right now, this tan tank is facing the wrong direction, so that would be pretty big. But you also gotta remember, there's probably a few more tan, um, bazooka troopers around here somewhere. I mean, I'm not seeing any right now, but there's one there. Okay, yes, yeah, so there are some tan bazooka troops. Not a crazy amount, though. What are you doing? What, these two tanks are doing absolutely nothing. 
All right, let's time lapse for a little bit. Okay, these things are literally doing nothing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna force the greens to come forward with their two tanks. We'll push them this way, which I think is a fairly good position for them to go in. It's a gap in the lines. And we'll force the infantry forward as well. Uh, so we're just basically gonna force the greens to push and see what happens because they were on a standstill there for forever. All right, a little pushing happening here. If they take out that bazooka trooper, that's a value kill right there. All right, that thing's missing a lot. Oh, we got some green tank fire. I don't know what it just fired at, though. What you fire? Oh, that trooper, maybe? He's dead. So, yeah, kill this tank when you pass by. Kill this tank. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? You're pointing at the ground. You're an idiot. Okay, at least you didn't get killed yourself. All right, this tank is pushed forward. Killed a couple more troops there. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, all right. Takes a glancing blow there. What was that from? Was that from this bazooka trooper or the tank? Probably the tank, I'm guessing. You're still alive. You're still good. All right, reposition your barrel. I'm guessing it's one trooper. No, it's got two troopers left. Boy, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Guys, guys, you got to be smarter than this. Okay, well, there goes one of the tanks. The second one is coming through. It injured itself on a plane, but it's not dead. Oh, God. At least they're taking out part of the Tan Air Force, right? I mean, that's a lot of damage. It's going to take extensive repairs. What are you... Are you parking in the garage? What's going on here? They're so lucky these Tans don't have bazookas. All right, what happened to the green infantry? There's two troopers here. Come on forward. Come on, to just, just die, okay? Okay. This, uh, this is clearly a green L. It's been a green L for the past five minutes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but we've decided to humor them it's about to die it's gonna die it's gonna die so hard did that kill it that popped it all right that's like a free tank for the tans right there they could just steal that wow all right two green soldiers left let's have them just retreat then all right get out of here go back the way you came go 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 don't just stand there oh they're gonna die they're gonna die yep they died all right the reds still have two soldiers left that's it and the tans have maybe 20 soldiers plus the two tanks that they've got the greens lost everything everything so many tanks down the gutter here absolutely crazy if you guys did enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below what you think should happen in the next episode either way guys i'll see you all in the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much